Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome to Verbling. For the next hour, we will be having an English speaking conversation class. A nice, uh, light hearted topic today. We're going to be talking about pets animals, creatures, critters that run around your house and annoy you. <laughs> Uh, that's it. So well, let's just uh, have a nice, enjoyable conversation. I'll try to help you with any problems you have with sentence structure or vocabulary. So come on in and uh, join me. I'm Teacher Oakley here at Verbling. Hi, Alex. How are you? I'm fine, Teacher. Are you? Thirsty. <laughs> uh, well, I'm okay. I'm so sick, but <laughs> I have a. Uh... Cough. You're sick? Um, yeah. Uh, that's no good. Yeah. yeah. I have I have an allergy. You have what? Allergies? Yeah, I I have rhinitis. I, I think it's the same word in English. No. Allergy? I don't know. I'm not a doctor, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> You're you? a chef. <laughs> a yeah, right. W what are you allergic to? To humid. Ah, okay. And, and if, for example, if it's too hot in my house and I go out, it's too cold. Then I, I don't know how to say, but it's change of. Yeah. Ah, okay. Uh, um. Rapid change in temperature or yeah, change that's right. in humidity. Yeah, that's right. Uh, okay. All right. Um, okay. Well, our, our conversation today, we're going to talk about pets. Do you do you have any pets, Alex? I used to to have, but now now I'm married, so I we my wife and I. We <laughs> no no it's because that didn't sound right you know okay we 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 want to buy some pets but we are waiting for the next year because we we wanna adopt a uh, a dog okay very good but uh, we are waiting for to go our vacation and when they when we go come back we are going to adopt a new pet yeah okay. All right, uh, that sounds cool. Um, tell me a little bit about. You said you used to have a pet. What what kind of a pet did you have? Dog or cat or a turtle or? I I had uh, two dogs in a fish tank. Two dogs in a fish tank. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> in a fish tank. <laughs> And a fish tank, okay. Yeah, it's your cold, Alex. I'm, I'm just joking, anyway. Uh, no, no, I'm just kidding. It's funny. <laughs> okay. Yeah, what, what kind of dogs? Uh, Stousers. Oh, really? No kidding. Yeah, yeah uh, my, my father bought one. The, the, name, the name of that was Shakira. <laughs> Okay, very cool. And, and Shakira had four babies. Oh, did she? All and right. We took one of them, and, and he de he died. Or oh. Dead. What yeah. is a he dead? He, or he died? He died. He yeah. died like four months ago. Ah, uh, sad. It was with my father and okay. my mom. Yeah. All right. Are, are schnauzers good dogs to have? What is I I uh, I've had many friends with dogs. I've had dogs. I have never had a friend with a schnauzer. I, I always liked the way they look. I thought they were really cool looking dogs, and I I wondered about them. But I I'm glad that. We're having this conversation because now I can ask, what is a schnauzer's personality like? What kind of what are they like? They are uh, they are a good friend, a really good friend because they are very you know quiet. They like oh, really? to play a lot. 
they, I don't know, they hunt her another animals. <laughs> Shakira used to hunt her rats. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, the, because they, the people who made this race... Breed. Breed, yeah. Yeah, it's a breed they, of dogs. Yes. They used to, they used these animals to hunt her. Yeah. Ah, okay. I didn't realize that. And Schnauzer is small, medium, and a big Schnauzer, but I have a medium Schnauzer. Okay. Yeah. But, uh, all right, they're, they're quiet. I, okay, that's a little bit of a surprise. I don't know why that's a surprise, but I didn't, <laughs> I didn't know that they were quiet dogs. I, 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 I didn't know that. They, they, they are usually... I don't know how to say, but they like to play a lot. Mm -hmm. But they are quite. If you go out of your house and you come back, and they are, they they don't need a mess. <laughs> ah, okay. <Yeah. laughs> oh, they don't tear apart your house. That's no, no, yeah. That's good. <laughs> it's a good <laughs> pet. If you have children, or you have a small house, or. Are they good with children? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. Oh, well, I yeah, you know, I'm too like you. I'm thinking about getting a pet, a dog, but I okay. have two small children. I, my uh, unfortunately, my youngest child had uh, problems with um, breathing when she was very, very young. She's much better oh, okay. now. There's really no problem. But the doctors advised us not to get a pet because you know the hair, actually. Yeah. Sometimes they shed their hair. You know, pets, dogs, yeah, do yeah that. Your and cats. Yeah, your child can, can have problems with that. Yeah, they shed hair. They, so, you know, it's not good for breathing problems, I guess. Okay. But she's much we, better now, so. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, yeah. My, she so sounds we, better than you, Alex, for example. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I I I gonna be better because I I've been I've been sick for one month. Oh my gosh! Yeah, it's it's a terrible allergy. Yeah, that's not good. Uh, it's not good. Uh, Can't, um, I, I just hang on a second. Uh, hello, Roxana again. Hi. Hi. How are you? Fine. Uh, hang on, I'm just I'm. Just a second, I'll talk to you in just a sec. Alex, can, don't you have medication or something that you can take? Didn't have you been to the doctors? Are no, it's, you, it's because anything? it's it's a chronological problem. Okay, happens every year. You mean? Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I can I can take some pills and I I I I'm gonna be better, but one day, but the other one, I'm gonna. I'm gonna have I I'm the same I have the same thing. Oh, yeah, what a drag. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what happened? Sorry, what happened? Uh he, he has some kind of allergy, and I'm not sure of the name in English. I I know it. It's a it's a common con not common, but it's. I'm gonna uh, looking for that name. Common the condition or a known condition, but unfortunately. He gets it every year. He's been because of the change in temperature, like inside and outside, or the change in humidity. So he he's he gets like an, an allergic reaction, I guess. Anyway, anyway, allergic reactions is not our topic unless you're allergic <laughs> to dogs or cats. <laughs> this can be Some about dogs uh, allergics. Uh, uh, allergics. Uh, Yes, it can be. So yes, it is somewhat related. Rhinitis, rhinitis, rhinitis. Yeah. Okay. All right. So now I did. Allergy. See, now I'm learning vocabulary. I didn't know that word. <laughs> Excellent. I'm teach you. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> you need to pay that. <laughs> <laughs> you want a refund? <laughs> sure. I'll talk to my boss. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Mm, okay. Uh, anyway, yeah, we're talking about pets. So, uh, Roxana, have you, do you have any pets? You don't have pets now, do you? 
No, no. no. It's flat, it's not possible to have any pets. Only cucuraj something. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. Uh, could you have pets like fish or something that's in a tank? Could fish, you do that? No. Fish? Yeah, no. for example. No. Uh, what's mean tank? Tank. A fish tank. You know, when you have fish, they don't just, you know, uh -huh. flop on the floor. You have to put them in a glass <laughs> tank. No. <laughs> yeah. No. A fish I tank or, uh, of course, since we're here to also learn learn English, a uh, fish tank is also called an aquarium. Whoops, hang on. Wait aquarium? That is right. Very aquarium. good. Aquarium. That's right. Aquarium. So, I... Uh, okay. Uh, how about when you were a child? Did you did you ever, ever have a pet when you were younger? Yeah, but I live in house grandmother mm -hmm. and grandfather. They, they have house, not flat. Right. And in the yard, small garden. I have some two dogs, one big and one small. Okay. But uh, it's now it nowadays I, I think it's uh, people no need to uh, uh, have any animals before. Uh, we have dogs because we need to uh, dogs to be like you you know like. G garder, how say garder? Guard. Bodyguard. <laughs> Body bodyguard. Yeah. No. Okay. <laughs> no. 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 Dogs. Sure. They're guard dogs. Sure. Yes. That's a co-location in English. That's a normal English expression. Guard dogs. Many people think of certain breeds of dogs. Those are certain types of dogs as being, you know, they are bred to be guard dogs. Like, yeah, if yeah. some some robber come to your house, mm -hmm. guard dogs to help you, maybe. Right, sure. <laughs> but right. it's now we no need because we have some key from the doors and <laughs> okay. any any police we have or something else. <laughs> but I think it's people no need anymore any pets at house. Really, I don't. You know, I disagree. This, eva this is ev evolution. Why, evolution. Why not? <sighs> yes, I don't evolution. know about that. Um, okay, uh, in, a, in a little while, I want you to describe your dogs to me. But I got to see, I, uh, Alex. What do you think about that? Do you think um, there are other reasons to have pets? Can you repeat uh, the question, please? Well, do you? What reasons are? What is the? Why do people have a pet? Be, well, because uh, Roxana was saying that people don't really need pets anymore because they used to be guard dogs. But okay, now we don't really need guard dogs. But are there other reasons to have pets? I think when I have uh, my two dogs, they are a good friends. They you need. You bueno, okay. I was a a teenager, and they made me more responsible, responsible. Ah. And then you can teach your children using your dogs to, for example, feed them, to to wash them. I don't know how to mm -hmm. to wash. It's okay. Sure. Well, bathe. Yeah, you wash them. You bathe them. Either way. Yeah. Sure. So you can use it for that, or, or I use my my fish to relax, and I and I used to wash them. I don't know. <laughs> it's interesting. I, I like it. Okay, I know you have a cold. You used to watch them. Okay. Not I'm sure. Watch. I'm sure you didn't wash them. <laughs> wash your fish. <laughs> what you, you don't have another way to learn teaching to be responsible? How take some any pets? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I actually totally no. agree. I, I, it's not the only way, but it sure is a good way. Uh, I think. 
I, I agree with Alex. It's a good way for children to learn responsibility and and even responsibility that makes you extremely bo you know whatever. Well, you get sick of feeding the dog every day and it's a pain in the neck and you'd rather be doing other things, but you learn you have to do it. You you have no choice. There's, there are some things in life maybe you don't want to do, but you have to do it. So I, I think it's valuable. For I think that's an excellent point. If I have a good reason, if you love the animals, why are you not going to have an animal if you can have it? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. No, psychologists say it, who loves uh, dogs or pets too much, these people doesn't like mm, humans. Yeah, well, uh, I, I don't like humans. <laughs> <laughs> I don't trust humans. I trust dogs. Yes. <laughs> I don't trust cats, though. You know, really. But I think Why? this is an extremely case. <laughs> Why yeah, you I... trust only dogs? Dogs yeah. only use human. Want to eat. Want to walk. But uh, mm, actually, mm, there's been the quite same. a quite a bit of research done that shows having a pet, not not specifically dogs, but uh, having a pet can actually, people who have, older people who have pets tend to live longer, and yeah. scientifically, by the numbers. So there you go, Roxanne. You want to live a little longer? Get some fish <laughs> or something. For old age? <laughs> well, they help relieve stress is the point. They, they can help relieve stress and help with loneliness and help a, a person be more emotionally stable. They, they actually can. It's it's pretty much proven. So pediatrician... Why people not, no, why people not talk with another people? Why talk with some pets? Because I can't... Oh. If I talk to you, I can't pet your head. I can't say, Roxana, it's so nice to see you. And yes. <laughs> I think you'd get annoyed. You'd slap me. You know, <laughs> because uh, also it's comforting to to touch and hold and and uh, you know, animals, people. You can't trust people. People, people can betray you, but an animal, a dog, will never betray you. They will love you no matter what you do, no matter how you embarrass yourself. They are faithful. They are very much more faithful than people. No, no, yeah. one, not one hundred percent. Because I, I saw in TV some dogs to uh, kill some uh, human. Yes, what? He, his boss. Yes, his his boss. Uh, his his owner. Yes, his oh. owner. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes. You you never really? to seen you have never to seen in TV like this news. No. No. I hear about well, that. Well, maybe I if I don't know. Um, was maybe the yeah. owner abusive? Did the owner feed the dog? I don't know what really happened, but mm. uh, okay. dogs also dangerous for human and for yeah. children also. Well, I I don't know I. You never to know what in mind in the, in dogs because well, I do. animals. <laughs> yeah. I know. <laughs> he cannot to say you maybe he uh, don't like you or something else maybe and uh, it's it's very dangerous to have some big dogs in. Yeah. See, in I house. I always had big dogs. I had uh, yeah. Um, I've always had big dogs. A big German Shepherd when I was young. Um, a Saint Bernard I had for ten years, and a big black Black Labrador I had for eighteen years. I had the same dog. Extremely faithful and never bit me. <laughs> never tried but to kill me. But another problem: allergy. But my one girlfriend, she has children, yeah. child, and she has maybe. Two dogs and house, and allergy come to his child, and she say everything okay, everything uh, fine. He he need to learn how to uh, see the dogs and uh, and like this. And after that, 
asthma come for her child. Mm -hmm. I think you, you, you human, you need to think what better have dogs or your uh, well, yeah. child have sick for all your life and your responsibility for yourself because you give wrong choice. You mm -hmm. take wrong choice. Right. I, I understand that. Right. And I agree with you. I, of course, if a, a child is allergic, then of course you shouldn't have whatever, that animal. Of course. That's, that's a simple, that's like if your child is allergic to peanut butter, you don't feed them peanut butter sandwiches. That, that, that's crazy. Obviously. Uh, to me, another disease uh, dogs have, not only allergy, because dogs go to the street and eat everything what uh, he yes, sees. Yes, they do. And uh, 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 after that, people to kiss this dog. <laughs> <And> <laughs> yeah. Why do you... No, you, if you, you want to like be responsible uh, for, your, uh, for somebody, you help to another human. Too okay. many ch uh, child who doesn't who doesn't have uh, any parents in our world. Too many, and too many human uh, who uh, exactly need to help. But some people go too crazy about animals to take. Yeah, I I I I I, I, I see your point. But some people are are crazy about collecting porcelain dolls too. But that doesn't mean that everyone who has a porcelain doll is crazy. You know what I'm saying? What's mean porcelain doll? Porcelain doll. Okay, I don't know. This is an American thing. It's a glass, white glass is called porcelain. And a doll. Just a little figurine, a little person, an angel or something. Some people start collecting something and they can't stop collecting it. Or the other day I saw a show about a guy who's collecting action figures, you know, like uh, wrestlers or Batman, superhero dolls, whatever. And he had 10,000 action figures. Okay, that guy has... He has this greedy, he's extreme. People, greedy, greedy people who want something well, else anything, around his. Anything you do in extreme, you know, a glass of wine at dinner is not a big deal. Uh, Five bottles of wine every day is gonna be trouble. <laughs> Anything too extreme. So yeah, sure. People who, I, I agree with you. People who dress up their pets in people clothes and take them everywhere and put diapers on their pets and take their You're crazy. Take their dog to the uh, what hairdresser or grooming shop or whatever they're called. You know, once a week. Yeah, I I agree. That that's. I I read some about history historical why uh, women have small dogs. You know, small dogs in the yeah. hand. Yeah, in the right. hand. Uh, yeah, yeah, they're called lap you, dogs, actually. Yeah, you read about term. this? No, no, please tell me what. Uh, because before, uh, everywhere in the ancient uh, words have you know small thing in the hair small thing mm, some something not not cucuraj but something small mm. oh lice yes yes everybody okay. have in in the <laughs> and oh, in ancient the dogs, woman yeah. takes these dogs and all lace go to the dogs that's why always uh, women uh, take Dogs on the hand. This historical <laughs> thing. <laughs> really? Re really? I read about this. <laughs> I read about this. Re really? <laughs> okay, you're probably talking about fleas. Because I think lice only go to humans. I don't think they go to animals. Uh, but fleas, either one. But yeah, okay. Probably fleas. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Those are the ones that jump really far. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because they're afraid okay. about these fleas, because fleas have some disease, and all uh -huh. fleas go uh, to sure. the dogs. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> what do you have? More point don't have any any uh, animals at home. What's that? Do Do you need any more points 
uh, don't have animals at home. Uh, why any... not to have animals at <laughs> home? Okay, well, I, you know. Okay, you I... said only one thing uh, to teach children how to uh, respect to animals. Yeah, and I also Do said that have... they relieve stress, and uh, there's oh. been scientific studies that show people actually live longer when they have pets. And if you exercise, and they're, be, they're still useful as guard stress. dogs. I, I don't know about where you live, but people still break into the house even though we have policemen and locks and keys. So they're still useful as a guard dog. Um, obviously, uh, you know, some animals have other purposes, obviously. Horses, you can actually travel or you know, uh, blind people use dogs, seeing eye dogs, or drug sniffing dogs, or bomb sniffing dogs. They, they do have other purposes, but as a pet, I guess that doesn't count. Um, they're fun. That's, you know, <laughs> they're fun and sometimes a pain in the neck, too, but the, sometimes they're fun. <laughs> That's a good enough reason for me. Uh, yeah. Maybe, maybe, maybe what, yes. Maybe what about your? Yes. What about? Okay, you do, you obviously don't want to have anything to do with pets. But when you were young, you had two dogs. Yes. Yes. Did, did these dogs do something terrible to you, or what? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> <laughs> no, this good friends for me. Oh, okay. Uh, All right. What kind of dogs were they? Uh. One big and one small, one without <laughs> breeding, one without breeding any breeding dogs from the street, okay. <laughs> from the street, and one uh, little bit uh, big big dogs. Okay, well there are of course purebred dogs, which are you know one pure breed, and then mixed. And you could say mixed yeah. breed or or dogs that are that are mixed, we call them mongrels. And I want really some friends, good dog. I don't know why I like uh, too much dogs when I uh, younger, but when I go to school, I, I saw some uh, small dogs in the neighbors, and yeah. I steal this dog <laughs> and what? bring it home. I steal this dog. <laughs> And bring it home to my grandmother. Oh. And when she asks me where you take these dogs, I say, he in the street, he's alone. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> no, I really like <laughs> these dogs. And I ask my parents to uh, these dogs stay in our, our house. <laughs> okay, keep the dog. You asked if yes. the dog could stay in your house. All right. Yeah. And of and they of course they said no. No, they say okay because really? I say okay. <laughs> I I feed this dog. I feed. I go to walk with dog. I do by myself yeah. everything. Crazy. And they say okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Hmm. Oh wow, that's crazy. Uh, okay, Alex, back to you. Changing uh, a little bit, do do people in your country ever have unusual pets? Uh, maybe an exotic, exotic animals. Better, yeah, better, yes. Better, better, you better you can have it, but they broke the the laws. <laughs> okay, it's against the law. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Some people have exotic pets. Which like are some actually... bears, some exotic bears. Because yeah. this is a, I, I don't, sorry, I don't remember the name, but this a sorry country. We have a lot of animals here, uh -huh. sure, and they they usually hunt hunt on exotic okay. animals, and, but we have dogs that the normal animals, yeah. Okay. We don't have strange animals. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Well, for example, in America, I knew quite a few people that had snakes, uh, pythons, uh, or boa constrictors. Yeah. Um, some people, some people here have snakes, 
they are legal. Mm hmm. All right. Yeah. In university, my roommate had had a tarantula. She's really? A big, <laughs> fat, hairy spider. Big, yeah. like your hand. Yeah, yeah. Um, another friend of mine, he had a monitor lizard, which was scary. I really, that thing scared me. What? He had a, a monitor lizard. Do you know what that is? No. They're big. Well, they grow to the, whatever the size of the cage you put them in, but I think naturally they can grow to be like as big as a person or, or almost like five feet. Right. Um, yeah. Anyway, it took, it took a bite out of the back of his arm. He's got a piece of his arm is just missing. The lizard really? <laughs> What is, that, what is the name of the animal? Uh, monitor lizard. I think it's spelled like this. I'm not sure of the spelling. I'm not sure if... Whoops. Yeah. I think it's like this. Okay. I think. I'm not sure if it's O-R or E-R. Ah, or okay. I know, what, I know now what it is. Yeah, I'm pretty... Yeah, but they, they are dangerous, dangerous. Yeah, the, the thing was vicious. You just look in his, he's in a, a, a terrarium, okay, uh, a fish. They are like in, a cocodril, cocodril. I, I don't know. They're like what? Cocodril? Crocodile, ah, crocodile. They're uh, kind of similar. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, uh, uh uh, glass, uh, glass cage for fish is an aquarium. If you have a glass cage for a snake or a lizard or spider or whatever, it's called a terrarium. Um, in any case, he he kept it in a big terrarium, so it got pretty big. It was, I don't know, getting close to three feet long. Um, you know, to the tip of the tail, but. You just look at, bend down to look at it, and he's like, ah, with his jaws, and he's got sharp, pointy teeth. How Scared. did they feed, feed it? He fed him like chicken, like uh, like raw chicken. Okay, I got some chicken for dinner. He'd just take a, oh, let me cut a leg off, and he'd just throw it in the cage, and the <laughs> lizard would just tear it to pieces. Uh, and, and one day they, they, oh, give he, it, they gave him... They gave in him his arm. His <laughs> arm. <laughs> yeah. One day he fed him his arm. That's absolutely correct. He feed him anything as long as it's meat. But unlike a snake, a snake has to eat. Well, at least boa constrictors, pythons, they have to eat living animals. You have to feed them live. Mice yeah, yeah. Alive. They won't eat it if it's already dead. I I heard that if you, for example, you. Your rat is dead. You can put in your micro micro microwave. Oh, and, and where? <laughs> really? And, yeah, uh, I, I saw a video. <laughs> oh my god! Well, it makes sense. Maybe if it's warm, that tricks them. Probably. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. No, but the yeah the lizard doesn't matter how you could if you found a dead bird out in the yard you could just throw it in the cage and. He would devour yeah. it in like 30 seconds. Didn't matter how dead or how rotten, alive or they, dead, he didn't care. It's because he, that kind of meat, animal eat everything. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, he wouldn't touch You throw a carrot in there, he's not going to touch it, but any kind of meat. Yeah. But uh, why? how did, did he have this animal? Is legal in your country? I don't know. I didn't think so. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't ask. He was more like a friend of a friend. Okay. So I went you to his house to maybe two times my entire life. But anyway. You need to love the animals, that kind of animal. I don't know. Because don't know. maybe he's very, he's very expensive to have that kind of animals. Probably, I imagine. Uh, all I remember is this guy had a monitor lizard, and in his backyard he had a skateboard half pipe. So uh -huh. we went over to his house to skateboard a couple times. That's really all I remember. 
but I don't know. Probably not legal. I do not know. I have no idea. Uh, Roxana, do do people in your country ever keep exotic pets? Mm, I have never seen really, and um, because maybe we have cold weather or something else, but we don't have any exotic. I never seen only dogs and uh, cats. That's all what I see. Okay. What I saw. How about when you were uh, children? Oh, either one of you, but uh, Roxana first, I guess. Maybe not. This is a, probably a boy thing, not probably a girl thing. I don't know. D do you have any brothers, Roxana? I have sister, but we live no and separate. Yeah, no brother. We okay. live separate. So maybe you, you can't answer this question. Um, okay, for example, when I was a child, I caught a praying mantis. Do you know, do you guys know what a praying mantis is? It has, yeah. Looks like that. It's kind of like it's praying. It's big <laughs> and green. It's got the big legs. Okay. This rabbit, rabbit or what? R rabbit, no. It's an insect. It's a big uh, insect. Oh. Uh. It's got big eyes and it looks like it's sitting like this. In the movie Kung Fu Panda. Oh yeah, Kung Fu Panda. Good. Right, very good. Thank you. Right. Did you see Kung Fu Panda, Ro Roxana? Uh, no. <laughs> no. Okay. No. All right. Anyway. All right. Well, if you see it, there's a mantis in there. Anyway, we used to I catch them. Or I, I'm not the only one, but we catch them and put a little thread, you know, tiny piece of string as a thread. Put thread around his neck and, and tie it gently, and so and then you could tie him to something, like keep him like a pet <laughs> on a string. <laughs> anyway, uh, and here in the Philippines, children love to catch spiders and spiders? play with them. Yeah, spiders. They catch these. Pretty big, kind of scary spiders, or I think they're scary. And the children will play with them, look, race them on their hands, and then they'll play with the thread. The spider gives a lot of thread, so the kids will like, ooh, do this and kind of <laughs> let the spider fall down. And they make that. And the spiders are, if you get two males, they're they're very aggressive and they fight. So they watch. Uh, so they're like neat toys. They. They're not really pets. They don't keep them a long time. They just kind of play with them. Um, after so they died? After that, they probably die or they escape. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, my praying mantis, when I had it, he escaped. I don't know how he got away, but he got away. I don't know where he went, honestly. But do kids ever do that kind of stuff in, in Kazakhstan? Have you ever heard about anything no, like that? No, uh, no, I never seen uh, catch children insects. Play, uh, play. Maybe uh, somebody small, somebody small thing okay. without any pause on. Well, how about like lightning bugs? Lightning ever, bugs? Lightning, What's mean? They have they're little insects that fly and they have a glowing. Their their abdomen, the back of the insect, it flies around and it glows in the dark. In the, they come out in the oh, summer. Uh, called. Um, oh, uh, we, we don't have we don't have in our country like this. Ah, uh, okay, that's too bad. They're cool. We but have lightning bugs mountains, or fireflies. Uh, in my backyard. Really? In my yeah, in my yard we when it's a specific time of the year we. We can see a lot of them. They are beautiful. Yeah, they, it's cool, right? They're only and right. It's only a certain time of year. They're not. They're not out. They're only out for two weeks or a month or something. I, I don't know. A couple weeks, maybe. I, I don't. I'm not sure. But when you're a kid, they they come out and there's a lot of them. So you go catch them and you fill a jar full of them. So the jar <laughs> glows like a a light. <laughs> it's cool. Oh, I don't know. Uh, I was just wondering if uh, kids did that in other places in the world, collecting insects or frogs or whatever. The, did you ever the 
Fi fireflies or light yeah. lightning is the same. It's uh, the same. I think it's two different names. I think they're the same. I think it's just two different names. Okay. Yeah. How about you, Alex? When you were a kid, did you collect? Uh, did you try to catch snakes or frogs or bugs? I used to catch insects with insects mm -hmm. in, in in rivers with some friends, like spiders, bugs, mm -hmm. that kind of insects, and we and we put in a in a piece of wood. It was a, like a collection. Okay, wait a minute. What do, you, what do you mean? You put in a piece of wood? Yeah, yeah. It's like in a table. Mm -hmm. And we and we use a, a kind of liquid that you, that you can conserve it. Ah, okay. Ah. Okay. And then, you, like, use a pin to... Yeah. St stick them into the wood. Oh, okay. Yeah, All yeah. right. My neighbor, right. when I was growing up, did that with butterflies and moths. Okay, butterflies. Yeah, he had a collection of dead butterflies and moths. <laughs> right. He put them in a jar with some liquid. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what it was. Formalin. Yeah. Chlor chloroform, formaldehyde. I'm not sure. Yeah, chloroform. No, what did, what did she say? What did you say? Formaldehyde. Formaldehyde? Formalin? Formaldehyde. For, yeah, formalin. What is yeah. that name? Formaldehyde. I don't know if I can spell that one, guys. I'm not sure. It's almost the same word in Spanish. Yeah, probably. Oh, I think that's it. I think I got it. Formaldehyde. Yeah, so my friend used to have this a big on a big board on the wall in his room. He had all these different kinds of butterflies and a separate board had moths. Yeah, I, I quite a collection. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Amazing. I was so shy, but I didn't kill. I didn't like to kill them, but <laughs> but I I was a it was a competition in, with my friends, so <laughs> I need to do. Oh. It. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you needed to do it. Yeah, I needed to okay. do it. Okay. Alright, okay. Uh, okay, I, Roxanne, I take it that you never collected, tried to no. catch animals. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I remember only one thing in my grandmother have little, little uh, duck, you know, small duck. Yeah, duckling. Baby duck? Yes, baby duck. Yeah. Maybe mm -hmm. five or six. And I, I, I have one more, and I am not uh, very big, and I I try to um, learn him how to swim. You try to I, I teach put, him how to swim. Uh, <laughs> yes, for swimming. I put <laughs> him in the, in the uh, water, and after that he die. Oh. What? No, it's very yes, because I'm little. Um, but he's a child. duck. Small, small duck, small. Yeah, but small ducks can swim. No, no, he's small. I put inside him in water. Yeah. And after that, he's die. <laughs> That's why it's not good to give to children any <coughs> any. That's another reason it is good to give to children because I'd rather have them learn about death from a duckling than from no, no. their grandfather or something. Better to learn about it first. No, in a no, simpler way. It's not, it's not yeah. good. It's not good. To... It's a good point. <laughs> uh, well, I think so. That's, you know, the first thing I knew that died was, you know, was. Uh, my cat, I think. Gomer Pyle was his name. <laughs> Rest in peace, Gomer. <laughs> when my when my dog died, I need to I I needed to dig to dig mm -hmm. a hole in the in my yard and I was crying a lot and my children was with me and were with me, sorry. And 
it was terrible, but they understand what what happened with our people who died, and it not it, it not it not was a it wasn't bad. Yeah. It was a good lesson. Lesson, yeah. Lesson, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, I don't know why she doesn't like animals. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Did did either of you guys? Okay, when you were growing up, did you have a pet graveyard, a pet cemetery? <laughs> uh. If you lived in a house, obviously you could never do this if you lived in an apartment. Or maybe you could, maybe in the park or something. But I grew up in a house where we had a little pet cemetery where, okay, the cat dies and you put him in a shoebox and you dig a grave and you have a little funeral. Oh, God bless you, kitty cat. Meow, meow, meow. Go to heaven. <laughs> Did you cry? For the cats, no, I never cried for a cat. <laughs> ah. <laughs> well, this depends on the pets. What well, do you, you know, dog you know like something? Cat? Let me tell you something. I know that my dog would cry for me if I died, but I'm pretty sure the cat would just go. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> well, the reason you Who's going to feed me now? You want somebody else to cry to you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. There you go. All right, I need a little sympathy if I pass. That's right. <laughs> I think that cats are very strange. You you do? <laughs> All right. So are you... You know, some people say... Okay. A, a common question when we're trying to get to know someone, we might say, uh, in, for English speakers, are you a cat person or a dog person? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> well, it's to just to so because it's breaking down. I, I know it's a little silly, but breaking down people into two categories: Are you a cat person or a dog person? Do you like cats or do you like dogs? Oh, okay, okay, okay. So because the cats and dogs ha are two different personalities, really. So, uh, yeah, Alex, so what happens if you like both? Then oh well then you can say both and then there's nothing wrong with that. I, I or if like you, cats. You like neither. <laughs> I, I like both, but I think sometimes the cats scare me. Cat I don't know why. Scare you? <laughs> it's because they are always sitting in, in, so, in some everywhere and they are looking so I don't know they are they they are strange. <laughs> yeah, they're plotting. Yeah. <laughs> They're plotting to rule the world secretly. Always. Mm -hmm. But uh, they are they are they are useful because if you have a plaque or I don't know how to say for example rats or other animals uh, yeah, they mice. they eat it. Yeah. Yes they do. Which is good, but if you have a good mouser, a cat that's good at catching mice is a he's a good mouser. A mouse. A good mouse. Okay. Yeah, which is great. Um, keep, definitely keeps your house from ever getting mice. But on the other hand, then they they get all the mice in the house and they go outside. And when they catch something, they bring it inside. Unfortunately. Ah, uh, yeah, it's a problem. Though. Like to give you a present. And they like <laughs> the present to be alive because they like to share. So, so cats can be very giving too. But I I dated a girlfriend who had like three cats. Uh, my, uh, they would bring in like a snake and just drop it on my, on my lap. Like literally, I'm wa sitting watching TV and they just drop a snake in my lap. Or oh. a mouse <laughs> or a frog or whatever. Chipmunk, squirrel, whatever. So one day I read a history about uh, a girl was by for a sn snake. Okay. And, and then the the girl took the snake and bite he its <laughs> his his hat head head okay and they and she she killed the the snake it was a very I I don't know what is the exactly title about title of okay. the story but it's very very interesting because. One that is, for example, the the story said, 
a snake was killed by a bite of a, a, a when you a bite of a girl, <laughs> a child. <laughs> okay. Did you understand uh, that? I think so. Yeah, yeah. It, it was funny because the 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 girl didn't know that it was a dangerous animal, so the she took and bite his its head. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's crazy. Yeah, <laughs> that's a crazy story. Okay, uh, uh, Roxanne, are you, I know you're what you're gonna say, but I have to ask: Are you a cat person <laughs> or a dog person? You're cat deep. or dog? Mm. Yeah. Which do you prefer? I, I I like to be freedom. I think freedom. maybe more cat. <laughs> Ah, okay. I don't need any owner by myself. <laughs> ah, okay. All right, what there you go. What about you? You got a dog? Uh, probably dog person. I don't mind cats. You I've need had some cats owner? before. You need some owner to yourself? Me? No, yeah. no. I like to have a dog as a pet if I had a choice. Doesn't mean I want to be a dog. <laughs> no, you ask me. I'm cat person or yeah. dog, dog person. But what that means when we ask that question in English is: Do you prefer cats or do you prefer dogs? Are you the kind of person that likes to have a cat? Okay. Uh, I uh, think maybe you ask me what I am imagining like. by myself. Yes, no, no, I'm no. dog or I'm cat. <laughs> No, no, no. This is like a standard kind of, it's very cultural. It's kind of a getting to know your personality question. So are you a cat person or a dog person? I, um, a man or a woman might ask each other this question on a first date, for example, to try to get to know each other's personality. This would be a very common question in English <laughs> because different personalities seem to like one or the other. Most people like one or the other. Some really don't care. They like both. and Some don't like either one, of course. I thought you would just say neither. <laughs> I'm a people person, which there <laughs> is an English phrase, a people person. Somebody who really likes to be around people, really likes to talk to people, very social, is a people person. And they have good social skills as well. So there, that's another English-speaking phrase, a people person. But anyway, anyhow. Uh, okay, I was just going to, what was I going to ask you? Oh, okay. Well, it wasn't this, but do you think, both you guys, um, do you think that people start to look like their dogs or the dogs start to look like their people? <laughs> have you ever noticed that before? <laughs> when people have had a dog for a long time, they start to look like each other. <laughs> I I I hear about that, but I uh -huh. I don't think that that happens. Okay. All right. Um, just, just checking. Uh, in my opinion, I think human to choose uh, some dogs uh, how he how he feel. If uh, human aggressive, he takes um, big dog. If human is have another quality of characteristic, take another yeah. dog. That's yeah. true. Yeah, yeah. I, I totally agree with that. Um, all right, we all agree on something. For the first time yeah, in the class. Yeah. Now we have like one minute left or something. Great. We yeah. finally agree. Yeah, I totally agree. I, I, You know, when they say, they talk about breeds of dogs being very aggressive or whatever, I, I don't know. I don't think I believe that because I've seen, a, I've seen a pit bull whose parent was extremely aggressive and they had to put it to sleep. When you kill an animal... We never say I had to kill the animal. We say we either say put it to sleep or put it down. Those are the phrases. Like a horse breaks two legs, you have to put it down or put it okay. to sleep. The veterinarian had to put it down. Okay, that's the phrase we use in English. But anyway, the 
the parent dog had to be put down. He was so aggressive. But the puppy was raised by my friend, and the puppy was like the least aggressive dog I have literally ever seen in my life. It was afraid of like a butterfly, and it was a pit bull, totally non-aggressive. But his mother, his master, a woman friend of mine, was very, very, what a gentle, kind person. And so was the dog. The dog was just like her. Never hurt anyone. Never never barked, never showed his teeth, never aggressive, ever. So I totally agree with you. It, it depends. Dogs can be trained. And they t also tend to mimic their master's uh, personality. I don't know personality, but at least aggressiveness, I think. Uh, okay, you know what, guys? I'm pretty much out of time, and i got to go now. Other people to teach. Other classes to do. <laughs> so... <laughs> I gotta go. Wow, ruh, ruh. bow wow. Uh, thank you so much for joining the class. Uh, hopefully, I'll see you guys again real soon. Okay. Bye for now. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Hope you get better, thank Alex. Right, thank bye -bye. you, teacher. Maybe.